Ahoy, this is Zdenka. Last Creative Camera Challenge was the backyard. The task was to take us around the world since we cannot travel right now, to show us where you are from, to see where we are all from, and to show us a little bit of your village, maybe the city, the fields, the mountains, the river, the lake. So many of you submitted multiple photos and multiple videos. So what I did in order to fit as many of you as possible, I strictly narrowed it down to one photo or one video. And today's video will be a little bit different. It's not going to be a review. I'm not going to review the photos and videos. It's going to be a showcase so we can enjoy and travel. The way I was choosing the photos and videos was not based on the quality of photograph and technical aspects. Some of the videos are shaky, but I chose it mainly on what is in the photos and in the videos so we can all enjoy the backyard challenge. First photo is from John, taken with the DJI Mavic Pro. And you are looking at small town called St. Charles. It has about 2000 population and it is from state of Michigan, USA. David is going to keep us in the United States a little bit longer. And this time we are looking at this beautiful winter photo taken down the road in Wausau, Wisconsin. Let's go to France to see this massive mountain taken by David with Canon M50 and Tamron SP 85 mm lens. Asia took photo of these beautiful flowers, as she says, when they used to live in Beijing in China. Now they live in Washington, D.C. Frank is going to take us to Canada to show us this beautiful sunset photo of Bob Cajun, Ontario, Canada. It's only about an hour north from me, taken with iPhone 8 Plus. Paul Anderson, which is from Mojaca, Spain, is taking us to this beautiful tower at dawn. Let's take a look. Michael is showing off this beautiful sunset over Stumpy Lake in Virginia Beach, USA. It was captured with the Canon M50 and kit lens 15 to 45 millimeters. Brian is showing us Getaway Arc in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. BJ took this photo with Mavic Air 2 drone off Farmington, New Mexico. Mikey took this photo with iPhone 12 Pro Max. You're looking at Pier 17 overlooking Brooklyn in New York. Tila took this beautiful red sunset in South Florida. And uh, the comment is, this is the view of the backyard of my office taken with iPhone 11 Pro Max. Nick took this photo with iPhone 7 while walking his dog of this misty morning sunrise in London, UK. Let's travel to Germany with George and he's showing us this beautiful sunset photo of Aachen. Let's travel from Germany to North America with Jimmy, which is going to show us beautiful Alaska. Let's travel to India with Shekhar. Rizali Pond. This is just a minute away from his home. This was taken just after sunset in the blue hour. Etienne took this beautiful photo of a horse in her backyard in Belgium with Olympus EM1 Mark III. Irfan took night photo of Mumbai city in India with Canon M50 and Canon 55 to 250 mm lens. As he says, he took this photo in a friend's house terrace of an 18-floor building. Let's go to Derbyshire, UK. Mick took this photo using Huawei P20 Pro with the DJI Osmo 3 and long exposure. Let's stay in UK a little bit longer in Stony Stratford this time with Nigel, which took this photo with Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with wide angle lens, auto settings. He adjusted the perspective and distortion a little bit in Photoshop. From UK to India with Raj Kumar, he took this photo of a very large rose garden. The precise location can be seen at the top of the photo. 
this is one of the most unique videos submitted by Paul. As he says, it is one hour drive from home, a cargo ship lifted off from Wellops Island in USA carrying vital supplies for astronauts to the International Space Station. Jane took a photo of her backyard in Long Island Wine Country, New York, taken with Galaxy S10+. Plus. This photo was submitted by Instagram user called Canadian Discovery, and it's a night shot of Vancouver. From Canada to Germany, monastery courtyard in Pirna taken by Wolfgang by Samsung Galaxy S20. Irfan's daughter Aisha took this photo on her smartphone OnePlus 6T during her college tour in India. Precise location can be seen at the top. You're looking at Mojave Desert in California, USA, taken by Instagram user DustyBoy61. Sean is going to take us to Lincolnshire, UK, where he took this light trails photo with Canon 77D with EFS 18-235mm lens, ISO was set to 400, aperture was 10, and shutter speed was 8 seconds. He blended it with 5 seconds exposure to help to get the contrast. This very interesting photo taken at Zoo in India was submitted by Instagram user MultiplyCube. The precise location can be seen at the top. Another Instagram user submitted this impressive photo of Frozen Lake in Switzerland. Again, precise location can be seen at the top. Once again, another photo from this Instagram user is taking us to Finland. Let's travel to Brazil with Nitai, which took this photo in the Middle Age theme festival. The photo was taken with 5D Mark I and 50mm lens f1.8. Thomas is going to take us to Pacific Beach Sunset Crystal Pier, San Diego, California, USA, taken with iPhone XR. Let's travel to New Zealand with Chris, which is going to show us this beautiful waterfall taken with iPhone 6S. Hafiz is showing off his marina in 2020 as he was living aboard on his Catalina 25-foot sailboat, taken with smartphone Huawei Honor 6. Thank you very much for all submissions one more time. I have credited everybody in the video description below the video. If you want to see the entire collection, you can go either to Facebook, ZD Camera Challenge Facebook group there, or you can go in Instagram and type in hashtag ZD Backyard 21. Well, hit the thumbs up if you like to and subscribe to future videos. Another creative camera challenge is coming up very soon and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.